And today, number one is again Johannes Tingersbö from Norway. Uh, Johannes, this is your sixth win uh, this season. Is this one a bit special, maybe? Uh, yes, uh, it's it's more special uh, because the last uh, uh, weekend uh, I've been behind uh, Martin. So before Christmas, it was the opposite, and uh, and now I'm back on top again. So that's a good feeling. And speaking about the race today. Um, at the first uh, standing, did you know that Martin missed uh, two targets, or did you think it was just one? Uh, I heard, uh, I saw he missed one, and I heard after the shooting that he missed two. And what a dramatic last loop we had! Uh, <laughs> were you worried that Martin would catch you? <laughs> yeah, I was. I was thinking about it when I saw him uh, out on the tracks there, uh, but I tried to just, uh, yeah, stay in my own. A lane for the tracks and uh, it was very good practice to stay on the lead uh, on the last lap it's it's very tough mental and uh, you just have to to think forward and uh, not so much about the people behind and what gave you power on that last loop <laughs> i don't know maybe uh, yeah when you fight for the win you you, you don't want to to be weak, you know, uh, so it's just to be happy with the pain in the legs and ski as fast as you can. And next week we are going to Anhalt to Italy. What are your goals for next week? It will be the last World Cup before heading to Olympics. Yeah, my fiance will come down, so uh, I'm looking forward to to have her on uh, her first World Cup outside uh, Norway. So that will be fun. That will be additional motivation. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. And in second place, we have uh, Martin Fourcade from France. And that's a good news for me because he will be really tired for the competition. <laughs> 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 well, um, let's go back to the race. Uh, uh, what was your strategy? Did it change uh, after your missed shots, missed shots and standing? Yeah, it was a really good fight on the front of the competition. and. Uh, I uh, didn't took uh, enough time to be stable on my uh, standing and I, I missed two but I think I could miss three on that shot. It was a really bad one, the, uh, almost the same I did in, uh, in the pursuit in Orfilzen. Uh, uh, then uh, of course it was not the same competition for me because I was not in the lead uh, looking at uh, who could be able to win. But uh, it was only uh, full power to try to catch back the podium. I knew that uh, with uh, two mistake advantage, it will be really hard to, to, to come back on, on Johannes. And uh, when I saw that he, he missed only one on, on the last shoot, yeah. I knew that it was already over for me. So uh, I gave all I had to, to catch uh, the, the podium. And it was really special because uh, the podium was uh, where my teammate, because Quentin was third. and. Uh, Antonin was second after the wrench and it was really special to, to fight with them because, you know, uh, we know each other our strong points and our weaknesses. And uh, uh, when I, uh, I was on the last loop, I knew that I had to, to, be, uh, to be really faster than, uh, than Antonin uh, before the last uh, finish because he's, he's a really good sprinter. And uh, being in my, in my skis, it, w it was a bit easier for, for him to, to follow the pace. So I was a bit worried uh, uh, he could uh, catch me until the finish line. But um, I was a, a bit more focused on him than on Johannes because I, I knew that uh, Johannes had already won the race. And uh, after the race, uh, you gave away your medal. Could you talk a little bit about that? <coughs> Yeah, it's uh, not something special because I, I never keep any any medal for the World Cup. You know, I'm uh, not too much into the the things and more about the, the feelings and uh, emotions. So I think uh, people are really happy when we give our medal, and uh, I love to give medals to the kids. So it's uh, something I usually do, and uh, I'm not a hero because it's not something I like. So <laughs> it's a bit, uh, um, yeah. I, 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 I will not give my, uh, my uh, Olympics medal, the one I have and the one I hope to win. But uh, for the World Cup one, you know, it's uh, more about uh, showing the, what we want with uh, the people and the crowd. And looking ahead for next week for going to Anhalt, what are your goals? Uh, to keep the same uh, spirit, I mean, not about the result, because uh, 
for now uh, I have been on the podium 50 times in a row and uh, I hope it will uh, be over before the Olympics because uh, then I will uh, be worried to, to stop my uh, my my record at the Olympic Games, so I think I will uh, I will miss one podium next week in Antols. <laughs> but uh, I know that uh, often I don't need to 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 do it myself. You know <laughs> the guys uh, up there are already strong enough to 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 finish this uh, this record. Thank you, Martin, and congratulations. And in third place, we have Antonin Gigona from France. Uh, uh, Antonin, th this is your second uh, podium in uh, your career this season. Um, what are your emotions? Well, it feels um, really great. I enjoy, uh, really enjoy being uh, on the podium with uh, always the same guys who are not that bad, so it's really good for me. And only three guys uh, managed to um, shot clean uh, 20 out of 20. Um, how did you manage uh, the pressure of the crowd and uh, the pressure of Master today? Um, I didn't feel much pres pressure because I'm, uh, I'm clearly an outsider. So nobody is uh, cheering for me, I think. And um, the other guys, uh, they are fighting each other for maybe uh, yellow bib or things like this um, and then I just uh, do my uh, my job and that's it and uh, Quintan Fiumaye was today uh, number four and he actually told us that he's happy about the fourth place as well because uh, two of his teammates are on the podium uh, is that how you feel as well are you happy to share the podium with uh, your teammate yeah really we today we showed that uh, we have um, four guys um, really interesting for um, the, the relay the Norwegian they beat uh, us uh, two days ago, but I think with uh, being uh, a bit more, being much <laughs> a bit better, I think we can challenge the Norwegian team. Thank you, congratulations. Do we have any other questions? <laughs> 